What we are about to do is far more real than anything we have yet done. I think of Ross as a trickster. A trickster puts things in motion and pulls things out of unexpected places. And they're not going to stick around to make sure everything gets put back together. Nietzsche calls that the edge of chaos. And the edge of chaos is where there's a possibility of break. So there's always the possibility that you will go mad. There's also the possibility that the dancing star will come out of that chaos. What you see before you is my own invention. I invented myself. I realized more and more that I grew up creating a self, moment by moment, until fiction became to me what water is to a fish. The only way I know how to tell the truth is to make a fiction out of it. Having known Ross Woodman is both a blessing and a curse. It's absolutely transformative, but also it's very dangerous. Everything Ross said had kind of a grenade quality to me. And by getting you on side and making you foment about it too and get excited about it and think about it and talk about it and see the world through those glasses, that's kind of a crazy thing, right? It's messianic leadership. And he was messianic. And I think that's why so many people from so many different stations in the culture paid attention to him. He gave permission to things. How can you give permission to somebody to try new things, to take risks? Do it. Like, push. Do it. And I think he must have done that with a lot of artists. He was more of an instigator, a detonator for undetonated rebels. <laughs>